India has mobilized around 60,000 police and paramilitary troops in a sensitive border state ahead of the publication of a list of citizens it says it will be used to detect and deport illegal immigrants, mainly Muslims, from neighboring Bangladesh. The Assam state government will today release a draft national register of citizens after a census carried out for the first time since 1951. Unidentified miscreants on Friday night looted cash worth over 1.5 lakh rupees after barging into Kunta office of Northeastern Electricity Supply Company of Odisha Limited and tied up the subdivisional officer Prashant Kumar Man, who was rescued only after Kunta police reached the spot the next morning and started an investigation. Maharashtra State Education Department decision to close down 1300 Zilla Parishad and government aided schools due to very poor enrollment has brought in stiff oppositions. The National Human Rights Commission has sent a notice to the state government. State Education Minister Vinod Taude said that schools with less than 10 students will be closed and students will be shifted to the nearby schools. However, education activists have also pointed out that the move violates the Right to Education Act since in many cases children would have to walk distance beyond 3 kilometers to reach their new schools. Gujarat Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Patel is seemingly unhappy with the portfolios allotted to him as reported by a reliable source in the BJP. In the previous government, Patel used to handle important portfolios like finance and urban development. However, this time he has been allowed a charge of departments like road and buildings and health. The deputy chief minister has not taken charge of the portfolios till Saturday. It is reported that the central leadership is sending a senior leader to mediate to end the crisis. Karnataka government has rejected the triple talaq bill passed by the Lok Sabha on 20th of December. State Minister for Minority Welfare Tanvir said that the government has decided to reject the legislation on criminalizing triple talaq despite the Lok Sabha having passed the legislation. He also stated that it is still not official and that it can always be legally challenged. He also said that it is a common misconception that there are more divorces in Muslim due to triple talaq.